was phone. Why are you calling me? I'm already in the Discord call. I know me and Rashi know, but for Dooms, uh, because Smug is going to join this call because I know she's a major fan of Hades 2, and uh, she has a TTS, so we're just going to have her go last. Okay. If, if need be, I can buy her time. <laughs> I just will say that right out the gate. That's perfectly That's fine. That's perfectly fine. I know Smug. Also, it's great to see you again, Dooms. Good to see you. You actually caught me in the middle of a Hades run right now. Nice. <laughs> Unfortunately, I flopped my 32 fear run right at, the, at right at Kronos, so I'm a little despirited. <laughs> I'm taking a break I from two for a while. For... <laughs> Understandable. Yeah, I, I mean, to... I've, oh, sorry. I just want the game to... I just want to move on with the story is all. <laughs> <laughs> After playing Hades 2, I tried going back to um, Hades 1 just to see, like, how far we get and how different it is. Like, there are some major differences, but overall, like, the experience is pretty the same. Right. Yeah, so pretty much, uh, like, I was talking to Smug about this, but pretty much, like, at the start, this is just going to be the spoiler-free one, so... Uh, we're not going to be talking necessarily too much in detail about, uh, Hades 2 yet. This is, this okay. is just going to be for, on YouTube, this is just going to come out as, as the spoiler free episode. So just, it's going to be some basic talking points. I don't expect this to be too long. Um, and we're going to avoid talking about any like major nitty gritty stuff around Hades 2. But once we get done with this, we'll move on to the spoiler heavy com content and then, yeah. All right. Sounds good to me. Yeah, no argument here. Okay. All right. I'm really waiting to sink my claws into the spoiler stuff. <laughs> uh, it, it like... There's a, like, I'll just, like, you already know, because I, or not you already know, I mean, like, you know, because, like, I'll bring up the bullet points, and they'll, oh, or a fire alarm. <laughs> the AC. Yeah, but I'll, uh, I'll, I'll pull up the, uh, I just have some I bullet have points some here, bullet and points we'll just, that. we'll just go through them. So, like, the first one pretty easy uh more so the game awards trailer that came out uh in i believe 2022 <laughs> the, the trailer I mean, that shook the world <laughs> yeah the the trailer that took everything by storm like It was certainly a surprise to a lot of people. Supergiant fans were like, oh boy, I wonder what the next project is. Because it's surely not going to be a sequel, right? <laughs> you thought. Uh, yeah, I, it's... I don't know, it was like... It was interesting because it was, um... I... Like I've said with my conversation with Dooms on Hades, I had never really played or touched a Nurse Supergiant game before Hades 1, so it was just, like, the idea of them doing a sequel, that was foreign to me. So, like, going into this thinking, it's just like, oh, Supergiant, and being that the only game I played from them was Hades, my only thing was like, oh, are we getting Hades 2? <laughs> but actually seeing it come to life, and not just that, but... The new characters, the sick animation for the Game Awards, and just like the previews they were showing for like new weapons, new character interactions, and a new foe that focuses around time was like, this is interesting. Like, more instead of it, it, it legitimately when they released it felt like it was going to be just Hades, but better. And, you know, after playing it, I'm just like, yeah, this is, this is more than, this to me, I think is more than just Hades, but better. Because I feel like in, it, in its own light, it's almost good enough to be like a standalone sequel. Yeah, I can, I can definitely see why that, um, uh, that type of comparison. Considering... But like like you said, it's like it's super giant games. They're not most of the games that they do have 
granted i've never really played stuff like uh bastion and the like i've seen gameplay for it i've seen the story for it i think smug has even shown me a few things of uh super giant games and given given their um given their uh hits in the ballpark with it i could see this being a standalone type sequel thing but no they decided to just up the ante and uh and oh boy did they really hit the ante with the uh, with uh, hades too <laughs> <laughs> yeah well, come on you drunk fuck <laughs> <laughs> damn it dionysus <laughs> I'm trying to do one of the builds from Windet's videos, but that drunk fuck, he... Are you trying to get Curse of Nausea? <laughs> no, really. I'm just trying to get uh, Dionysus on my special. You had one job. And it's like, hey, do you want your attack, the cast, or blah, blah, blah? And it's just like, rude. Me on the train, come on, you drunk fuck. <laughs> <laughs> How did he know I was drinking? Yeah, I may just give up this run and just go back, honestly. <laughs> yeah. But it's like... I don't know, it... it I think, um... It, it's just a mixed... I think this mixture is just like... This is one of the games where it legitimately feels like... I wouldn't say overhyped, but I would say it was hyped... A right amount to be popular, popular, but just enough to the point where it's like people weren't overdoing like just how good this game was going to be. It it felt like you know what it, you know what the type of hype around this reminded me of, hmm. it, like in the uh, early two thousands with uh, the trailers for uh, the commercials for Kingdom Hearts two. <laughs> okay. That's what it felt like to me. Yeah, learning. You should scream. I'm on the podcast. Hello, everybody in the podcast. Where's Hi, Sony. Hello. What's the person? Is the name so, so is the person. Hello, so so RB. Hi, Sony. Hi, <laughs> Here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I. I mean, I, I like I, I have no idea what person we should be that's like because I'm not really a fan of Kingdom Hearts. Um, that's waiting for, and I'm waiting for Akeem to bust into my door and say, "Motherfucker, how can you not like Kingdom Hearts?" I mean, he uh, would if this were happening over in the other server. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I felt a disturbance. <laughs> I sense a disturbance. <laughs> but no, I. I can get why you. I can get that you don't like it, and I respect that. I played. I, I at least gave Kingdom Hearts One on PS2 a try. Oh, yeah, you careful, did. Sozo, I am one. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was that? That was Smoke's text to speech. That was Smoke's text to speech. We're used mm. to it because we hear it all the time, uh, and especially on streams. I just got here. <laughs> Doesn't sound like one, does it? No, it still sounds it like still one. Sounds like... Uh, let me see. Um, I just, I like, I really liked Hades. I, I sunk like 80 hours into it. I know everyone in this call is like, those are rookie numbers. You got to bump those up. L let, I... me, let me, let me pull up my Hades uh, run play time. <laughs> Meanwhile, me, I, I like, I have played Hades. I binged Hades once. And then two years later, come back to it. I still got it. <laughs> I still got it. <laughs> um, let me see. 40 so, deaths and one victory. I still got it. Sorry, <laughs> I mean, I'm not sure there's much more to discuss about the trailer, you know, because it's super giant. All of their trailers are, like, beautifully animated. They give us just enough to whet our appetites while we wait for them to tell us what the actual fuck is going on. Yeah. So I think we can move on to more so, uh, I am going to assume, uh, I think, what, has everyone here actually done the playtest? Yes. Yes, uh, I have. I've done the I've done early the access test. release, if that's different. Um, it is, it, it is, uh, it is vastly different, yes. 
then I'll stay out of this discussion. I'll just I mean, keep listening. Yeah, like again, I, I was like, this is for free, so I didn't expect this one to be too long. Because I know, like, like, like every, everyone here is either play the early access or is definitely interested in the early access. So, like, I, I'm saving a lot of the whole conversation for that. But uh, I mean, if you want somebody to talk about the early access, Akeem's your guy. He actually got in. <laughs> oh my, nice. <laughs> But Rashi, if you want to talk about your time with the play test. Oh, oh yeah, I'd love to. I'd love to talk about it. I honestly, when I sent that email, I was, I didn't, I, I didn't think I'd actually get accepted for it. Like, eh, it'll be fine. Let me just like what, just send it to send it. It'd be worth a shot anyway. Yeah. And then next thing I know, I get the email from Steam. It's like, congratulations, you've been accepted. It's like, <laughs> okay. Well, all right. I guess we're doing this. And my time with that, with the play test, and what I and what they had going for it at the time, because the whole thing was to uh, see if uh, early access would uh, even work in the first place. Right. So. I was part of the play test too. That's because I knew someone. <laughs> it's like I knew a guy. <laughs> uh, when I my time with the play test was. Nothing short of amazing was nothing short of amazing and fun. Mm. Everything I liked about Hades One was in uh, was in this game. The art style, the, the character, the the, the sass, <laughs> <laughs> and most and just as much, it was around that same time I realized, oh god, I'm rusty. <laughs> <laughs> the controls threw me off. The, the dash was on the A button of all things. <laughs> and other than that, the minute after I had like my first death as is customary in a roguelite, I got back in the zone and made it all the way through the uh, first session. But, and honestly, I went back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This... This play, that play test, the fact that Super Giant even greenlit this, mm. I can. It, I'm only expecting further good, more good things. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> so I think I've talked to you guys about this, but um, ultimately, uh. I damn near, like, because I, I was the same where it's like I emailed them about the playtest. Now, I have signed up for pre-registers on games in the past. Like, I, I've signed up for pre-registers for different games, one of the which being uh, most notably Wuthering Waves. Um, never. I never have gotten an invite into any of those. So... It, it, it just, it didn't matter, but I didn't, it, um, when it came to Hades 2, it was just like, you know what, screw it, I'll, I'll sign up, and then I'll just, uh, I don't know, buy my time, and this, I got accepted at the worst possible time around my finals for college, like, it was such a worst time, I didn't even realize that I got the email until... Like, I think the week it was about to close, and even then, I did not actually get a chance to actually play the, the playtest in any way, shape, or form until the stroke of midnight on the day it was shutting down. Jesus. Yeah. Damn. And <laughs> I was, like, legitimately, it was one of the worst days I have had, so coming home and actually playing the playtest, I was just like, all right, they're going to shut me down pretty quick here. So here's what I did. So what I did was I installed it. I, I turned off my internet off. and I turned on my uh, recording software and then just went to work. And all I wanted to do was just beat whatever they had in, in store for the place test once. That was it. And when I played it, because... Uh, for me personally, I had sort of been preparing myself for what Hades, 2, what was going to be in store for Hades 2 by playing through Hades 1 New Game on both, like, normal and god mode, just to sort of see how my knowledge of, like, Hades 1 actually would get me into that. And then when I played the playtest, I, I did, like, 
fairly well for my first time, but yeah, definitely, there was so much new stuff just in the playstyle alone that was just like, it just threw me for a loop. I was like, oh, this is what the cast does. Oh, I have like um, a resource system. It just, and even the dash felt like it was a little, the dash, before I even realized what this game's gimmick was with the dash, I didn't, I like, I, I felt like, oh man, this is a little lackluster. I hope they actually like give me options to up the dash. Before I even Before knew, I knew the uh, what they did, but regardless, um, yeah, playing the playtest, it was just it is so interesting because like I I've gone off about this before, but the worst thing you can do with a sequel, among other things that are the worst, is essentially do the same damn shit over and over again. Like essentially, because I. When I was playing this, I felt like it would be, like, boring if just Noenoe was just another... It's just gender-bent Zagreus just going to escape the House of Hades and f find, her, f find her parent or whatever. I thought that would, be, would have been just boring, and I'm glad from the looks of things and all things considered that... They have ultimately changed up their approach, both in story and in atmosphere. And what they have in store, in terms of the playtest, I really enjoyed. Oh yeah, that yeah, I loved what uh, I loved everything they did, and then some. But we'll get more into the uh, then some later. <laughs> yeah. Uh... This is the Elden Ring podcast, right? <laughs> 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 Wrong channel, tarnished. <laughs> No, but damn close. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, we got like two more points here and then we can call it for this one. So ultimately, so uh, it, it was no secret, but we were getting uh, new characters into this. Uh, some of which have been, in a way sort of, I guess you could say teased from Hades 1 because a number of weapons and whatnot were, like, there, there were aspects that now we're seeing some of the characters. Like, the sword had an aspect of Nemesis. Now we see Nemesis. Like, yeah. That is, and, I, I, I thought that was interesting. And yes, I will absolutely say, God, she's fucking hot. <laughs> I was waiting for it. <laughs> He's like, wow, you are... It was, only, it was only a matter of time. I... <laughs> Heck, it's Hades, of course everyone is. Hecate yeah. and... Yeah. Oh my god, Hecate, Odysseus, and Nemesis have just... And even Milanaway have just... I... <laughs> I'm pretty sure some of us have gone feral at some point. Let me see if I can find this. I really want to show you. Right. It's a Hades meme. Oh, this ought to be good. <laughs> it's the classic. Ah, oh, dang it, it's not... <laughs> it's, not <laughs> it's not the version I've seen, but it's just... Bisec... Oh, god damn it, that's not... <laughs> <laughs> My copy-paste didn't work. He's like, wait, I fucked up! <laughs> Send me that link, I'm just gonna photo... I'm just gonna edit it into the post. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Be... That's what I thought. Ah, yeah. Bisexual style. That was fun already. It's bisexual style. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen one where it's like both Zagreus and Melanoe, like doing the. You know, the guy from Magic the Gathering who just does like a prayer stance next to people's exposed butts. Oh, yeah. It's that, yeah. but for Hecate's abs. Oh, I mean, <laughs> you can't really blame him. <laughs> Hephaestus, probably the nicest character in this game. Just, I, you know, that, that actually reminds me of something. That actually reminds me of something, actually. Um, that I'm surprised isn't in the game already. Hmm. The, the double boon double. rooms. Oh, you mean the uh, Clash of the Gods? Those oh. are in the game. They are? I haven't seen them. It, um, we'll, we'll, we'll get to it, because we'll, we'll talk in detail about that, but, um, 
I could definitely say in, when I, even though I played the playtest once, yeah, it didn't show up. But um, definitely, I have played this game back and forth enough, so I know a fair amount of this game. I mean, in it's Hades 2, I've only sunk about 20 hours. Okay. So Hephaestus crazy. and Aphrodite have a marital spat. Oof. How many uh, how many hours would you count 41 nights? Three. <laughs> Three. <laughs> how many hours you got in this game? Three. Okay. <laughs> 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 one minute, let me check. Hit him with the Lythero special. <laughs> oh god, no. <laughs> anything but that. Four hours play the angry joke clip. <laughs> I, have, I have played uh, 30, almost 40 hours. I'll pull up my time. I only, I don't even have my, I only even have Steam turned on. Right <laughs> I don't even. Like, son of a bitch. <laughs> this wouldn't be an issue if you had a PC Sozo. <laughs> Jokes on you, I do. I just don't use it for gaming. It's like I, I use it to record my friends. <laughs> like a true chest. FBI agent. I was gonna say. I, <laughs> it's like I, okay, I have 33 hours in this, so it's not that much. Yeah, it can only go from go up from here, boys. Yeah. I have been sort of like laying off too much. Like I've been sort of holding on when there's a new patch day, so that I can explore right. what they do. But um, I'm calling the police. Joke's on you, he is I, the police. I, I'm sorry, officer, look, I, I just didn't want to waste my time. I just didn't want to waste my time on every single new patch. I wanted to wait for every patch. I wanted to do it all in one go. Let me have this. <laughs> officer. Death. <laughs> God, now please send him to Detroit. Take him the to The super Detroit. giant police. Take him to Detroit. Take him to Detroit. <laughs> no. Yeah. Right. That's, That's what happens at the end of Hades 2. <laughs> Take him to Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate punishment. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think we can close this out and then get into major spoilers for... Um, let's close this out with talking about how far do you think Hades 1 knowledge got you through this game? I want to you get... Sorry, you go. go ahead. Uh... I want to say it, it's a bit half and half, like part of me, like part of it was, it did get me as far as I did doing the initial five uh, runs for the play test. But after that, the minute I got past the, uh, got past that, it was all blank and new from here. It basically made me want to relearn the entire game. <laughs> All right, go ahead, Dooms. Honestly, I don't think it helped. It helped me a little, but not a lot. Mainly just because Melanoma controls so much differently. Yeah. I'm used to the speed blitzing of Zagreus, it, probably because I, I'm i not even going to front. I main the Fist of Gilgamesh. <laughs> ah, a fellow connoisseur. You can take those fuzzy mittens from my cold, dead hands. As a matter of fact, let me come, let me get into dashes into range. Go ahead. Take it. <laughs> Take it from me. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but no, uh, Melanoe plays so much different, even when she has an up close and personal weapon, which I know we haven't gotten to, but don't worry. But no, she controls so much differently that it's an entirely different flow. And I felt like a bitch the first couple times i'm like what the fuck is wrong with me but eventually i got used to it i got good as they say it, yeah it really did feel yeah the new the, the way melanoi controls is like am i the problem here or what it's like the minute you're playing with the staff you just everything feels so new and even sozo you did say you were feeling like what am, am i doing something wrong here or what that's not even getting into just how different everything is. Like, um, the whole bit with um, the way magic works in the game. Yeah. That they oh. give you an actual mana system and, like, 
you feel like you're constantly draining it at first, but it's not long before you're actually getting the hang of it and going, oh, I can actually just spam this all I want, but if I hold down the button, I get this, and then you get these things that regenerate your mana, and suddenly you're a powerhouse. <laughs> as a Hades 1 veteran. I was getting my ass absolutely handed to me during the playtest and early access I was like I have nearly beat the first game at max heat why am I struggling? And it wasn't until I started using the glyph move that slows enemies down that I realized oh this game has a different style in a way. Exactly, exactly. The magic circle bit is actually what really um, is what really clued me in that the different flow of the game. Use this to disrupt enemy movement. Use this to disrupt the bosses. You don't need to pump it up. Sometimes you don't need damage. It's like, and, and that was when it all started to click. It's like, the way you played Hades 1 is not going to work here. Sometimes you want damage. Other times it's crowd control. Sometimes it's simply, uh, what's the word? Well, sometimes it's Maybelline. <laughs> okay. Maybe, maybe it's Maybelline. That's not <laughs> yeah. the it's like, Allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Take her to Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get into that part of the game later. I've got some shit to say about that. <laughs> well, we're getting to that spot, don't worry. But personally for me, I mean, yeah, you did mention it, uh, legit. At some point I was legitimately like, okay, is this just my frame rate? Oh, I guess I just suck. Yeah. <laughs> but, legit, I would say as someone who legitimately, like, Hades was my first ever kind of roguelike. Like, I hadn't touched a game like this. Like, I had, I had touched stuff like Dark Souls in the past, but... I ha there's nothing like what there's nothing I've ever experienced like what Hades was doing. So going into Hades 2, like I legitimately was going in there trying to play it with sort of my knowledge of uh one and and immediately I picked up on oh that's changed oh this is what this does now like no luck because I am. With Hades 1 knowledge, I am so used to Zagreus' cast being projectiles, or lasers, or whatever I equipped it with. Now, Milenaways is a summoning circle, and it does nothing just on press, but it's a wall for enemies. But you hold it, and it ensnares enemies, and then eventually just takes them out. And I look at that, and I'm just like, you know what? This is actually interesting. Now, yeah, I don't know, I, I know fuck all on how to play this. I know fuck on how to play this, but legit, this was, I, I was just like, I was looking at this and I'm just like, okay, like, on in terms, I would say of like, how far Hades knowledge gets you, the basics, I would say it can at least like get you started. But if you're going into this thinking, oh, like the control scheme is just going to be like Hades 1, oh, that's where you're going to be sort of mistaken. You are immediately going to get yourself shot in the foot just by doing that. <laughs> and then we're just the one holding the gun. <laughs> Ultimately, I, I think that's, uh, I think that's ultimately it for the Spore Free. Yeah, so I'm, not, I'm just trying to think of, like, anything else we could talk about that's not, like, into the spoilers and everything, but no, that's, that's pretty much it. No, I really can't think of anything else at the moment. How hot everyone is. We'll get into that later. That's <laughs> it, too. We will get more into that. Yeah, this conversation isn't even past an hour. And yeah, that's I get it. So yeah, uh, so I will just say for everyone who is just like uh, just tuned in for this war free conversation, uh, if you have not played or gotten the chance to play Hades 2, 
I would definitely say check it out on Steam right now. It's early access and it's, I believe, less than 20 bucks. And yeah, the game is like just speaking without going into details or any loan it is a magnificent game it is in many ways like changed up and even sort of i would even say improvement towards what hades was doing so i would definitely say if you are interested please check it out and for everyone on youtube tune in next week when we come back here and actually get into the nitty gritty so yeah thank you all so much for joining us and we will see you all well we're going to be talking pretty quick here, but for everyone else, we'll see you all next week. It's $30, by the way. Yep. Pretty, it's a damn steal for what it is, even in beta. And it's only it going to really get more is. expensive when it fully launches. So get it now while you still can. Just buy it. Buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it. Buy it. <laughs> well, you've heard our, you've heard our pitch. <laughs>